Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So this is everywhere at the moment, it's the Spiral Betty pictures. I thought I would just quickly show you because in the group everyone's asking about them. So I thought I would show you quick. Now this is a free to use site, but it's for non-commercial purposes. So if you want a commercial license, you will need to go through and pay for it. And also at the end, there is an option to give them a cup of coffee as well. I think it's well worth it. I've done it. Um, and for every time I make one, I'll do it as well. They're not for me. I'm not a huge fan of them, but for the moment they're everywhere. So I thought I would show you them. Very nice and easy. We're going to go to spiralbetty.com and we're going to upload image. So I'm just going to select my image and open it. And you can choose how kind of zoomed in you want your image to be. And once you're happy with it, we can click the tick. So we're going to start with the rings first. So obviously the more rings you create, the more detail you're going to get. So if you reduce your rings down, you're not going to get a huge amount going on. And the more you create, the more detail you'll get, but be aware the more you create, the thinner they will be. You can also, again, change the scale. You can change the lightness. So you can make it lighter or darker and you can play with the contrast as well so again you can make it darker or lighter now there are lots of different kind of color spirals in here but really you want the black and white one because that's going to be the easiest in design space once you're happy with it, we can then download it. And as I say, if you want the commercial options, you can select those or you can just buy a coffee and then download. You can download that and save that. And you can do this on your phone or your iPad as well. So any of your devices you've got, you can do it on those. If we open Design Space up, we can go to Upload browse I'm going to select my spiral Betty and of course I want to keep it as a complex image because this will give me the most detail and continue now we need to remove that background so we're just going to click on it and it should remove all of them but obviously if your rings are tighter you might find that you have to come in and remove a couple and if you're going to do that, you definitely want to zoom in so that you can get in between those lines. We can then go to continue. This obviously looks a lot darker as a cut image, but it's just that the lines look thicker. They won't be thicker. It's just because it's a cut. They look that way at the moment. We can give it a name and a tag and upload. We can then insert it, size it to the size we want, and then go to make it. And we can, of course, select the vinyl that we're using. I'm just using Cricut Premium Permanent Vinyl today. I'm going to cut that out. And then, of course, it's all ready to transfer.